everyone. I'm Mercy Afrocraft and I'm CEO of Craftify Limited, a craft manufacturing company that makes and designs elegant pieces with biodegradable materials. Okay, so today I am making this video, and in fact, I'm posting this video. It's not time to post it, but I have to post it now because I'm trying to train some women on WhatsApp on how to make string art the basics. Yes, the basics. On my right and my left are a bit more complex designs. You have this flamingo here, and then you have this swan I designed here. You can see that, right? Swan. So these are a bit more complex. We're going to start with shapes, like boxes, squares, rectangles, star, heart shapes, things like that. Now we start that way. You get used to how you, you, know, you string it, and then you can progress from there, okay? So, to get on with, I am going to tell you the materials you'll be needing to do string arts, to make string arts, okay? First off, you need the canvas, you need the, the base, okay? Or the base where your art will stay on. So, like I said, okay, you can, you can, use, you can, use, you can just pick your materials from around your house or your surrounding. You don't have to go spend any money at all. If you have to spend money, just a little, little cheeky money you have to spend, okay? You get every of this material from around your surrounding. This one is a scrap wood. I found it on a scrap site where they do some construction, they were destroying some wood, and I picked this up. I washed it clean, and look, it's a very good canvas. The canvas I used for this one, I bought a plywood, and I cut it into shape because I wanted to sell, sell that one. This one is for sale, okay? So I spent a little money because I know I'm going to make money from it after making it. So but if you want to beautify your house, just go around, look around your, your, your yard and see what you're not using any longer. Just wood. The wood should be thick. It should be at least one inch thick because you are going to um, uh, nail through and you want your nail to stay in firmly, okay? So first, your base, which is the wood. Next, you need... Your scissors, you find out what you need your scissors for. You need a hammer, a hammer, just a, a light hammer, not a heavy hammer. I recommend a wooden handle hammer. So it's going to be light, so you don't mistakenly overheat it, hit the nails, and it go right through the wood, okay? Next, you'll be needing nails, nails. I use three quarter of, a, of an inch nail, okay? Three quarter of an inch nail. You can just get it um in the markets just ask them you want tell them you want three quarter of an inch nail and they'll give you oh sorry half a quarter of an inch rather and you get it in the market you also need a sharpener for your pencil of course you need a pencil because before you start you're going to draw out what you want to make so you set for yourself a pattern to follow it's, it's easier that way you can just pick a board and you start to nail on it Next, you also be needing a lighter or, or matchsticks, any one you prefer. I like to use lighter, matchsticks too are okay, okay? We have different kinds of nails, we'll get to that. This is also nail steel. And then last but not the least, in fact the most important part of it, you need your thread, okay? Which is a string. You need your thread that you're going to use to um, put together your piece. After you draw, your nail, you need to put together your piece using the thread. So I have different colors of thread. This thread you can pick up from the tailor shop. The tailor shop where they sell parts for sewing, tailoring. This thread is used in embroidery. It's thicker, it's a, it's a thicker one, of, it's a thicker type. There's one that's lighter, so be careful. Just take note of it. It's thick, okay? So I'm going to take pictures and still attach them to this video so you can see them. So I have different colors. Right here, I've got black, I've got white, red, green, purple. I'll have them right here. So we'll be needing them later. So that's all the material you need. And then yourself, of course. Now, to make string art, you need to have a little, a basic idea of how to sketch. You need to know how to sketch or draw, okay? And if you don't know how to draw, it's very easy. Just get your phone, okay? Or get a picture. If you, there's a picture you want to make a string art of, you go to make a grid on the picture, like you're taught in school, make a grid on the picture, maybe you have a picture of, um, of 20 by 20 centimeters, you can divide that um, picture into a grid of 
one um one or five centimeters you know in boxes then when you do that you follow the pattern and transfer it on the the wood uh, this would be i'll take i'll try to do a training on how to draw some other time but let's just get to the basic for this basic class or this basic lesson you don't really know how, you don't really need to be so good at drawing you don't need to be so good at all at drawing just have at least just know how to do something okay so let's get to it now i am doing this on the floor because i want everybody to be able to do it so i don't want to go do it on the table so you think oh if i don't have a table i can't do it you can do it anywhere if right on the floor here we get this job done now what should i draw i think i'll make um i'll do uh i'll just scribble something okay and just scribble something let me show you so you see what I'm scribbling. Try to make your hand as straight as possible. Okay, you don't want to make the pencil too dark, but I don't know if you can see what I've drawn there. Yes, you can see what I've drawn. I just drew a random shape, okay? I'm using this to show you how to make string art basic. So, I'm just using a random shape. You can make the shape perfect if you want. You can make it a heart shape. You can get a ruler. Make sure it's perfect if you want. And also, if you do not want to draw directly on the board, you can just get a sheet of paper, okay, a light paper. And then put it on the on the wood make your sketch on the paper somewhere make sure it's the same size it will fit into the wood the space you have and you place it on the wood use a tape to hook to tape it on the wood and then you just nail directly on it now after drawing your piece the next thing you have to do is to highlight the points where your nails will be um, inserted so the first thing of course all the edges have to be um, you have to put a nail on all of the edges, all the sharp edges. Make sure there's a nail there to bring out the shape of it. I'm just going to highlight every sharp edge of my piece here. Okay, there's another one. Now this way all the edges will stand out. Okay, there's one here too. I've done all the edges. The next thing you want to do is to make, just pick random points. Okay, you can be one centimeter apart. Your nails should be can be at least one centimeter apart they can be half a centimeter apart it doesn't really matter but it depends when you're doing um, more complex designs that you really need to take note of the spacing but for now don't worry about the spacing of your nails just make sure that they are almost as equal as possible I'm just making round dots on the places where I want my nails to to go in. This will guide us when we're placing the nails, so you don't have to think when you're placing inserting your nails. You just hammer through without wasting time. Okay, so I'm done um, putting my dots. The next thing is to get our hammer and our nails and get to work. Remember I told you there are different kinds of nails. Okay, but as time goes on, you decide which particular nail you use for your work. For example, these nails are dark. They are black in color. They are black in color. So um, some persons like to use them because when you're done with your work like this, the head of it will just be black, okay? And you don't have to worry about painting or something or whatever it is. And sorry, I almost forgot one other thing you've been needing. You've been needing maybe um, um, oil paints to cover the top of your nails. But for now, don't worry about that. For now, just focus on getting the string out first. So let's get to it. I'm going to use this nails, this half a quarter inch nail on this piece. So. I'll simply adjust myself so I'll be comfortable. Okay. 
So what you want to do is just hold on to your nail as straight as possible. Nothing, no pressure, no pressure. You can start with any of the edges, any from any point. Place the nail on the points you've already marked out and gently hammer in. You want to hammer in not all the way through, okay? You want to hammer in not all the way through. You want your nail to seal, you still want to feel that nail outside because it's on top of it that your thread will go. Try to make the hand as straight as possible. I have not done this on the floor before, so it's a bit tricky, okay? So I think it's easier for me this way. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting the nail through. And when you're hammering, make sure that your nails, the height of your nails are equal. You don't want to hammer one side all the way lower than the other, so you have a uniform height.
and we are done with this part of the work. Yay! Look at that. Can you see that? Okay, so that is my design. I brought it to life with the nails. The next thing is the string. But right now, I'm going to pause this video. And in the next video, you will see how I'll string this out. So take a moment now. Get your wood, get your nails, get a, get a hammer, get a pencil, draw a shape, any shape. Just start with any shape at all. Even if it is just a square. Draw a square and nail it out like this. Follow the pattern I've, I've explained so far and do this. In the next video, let's get stringing.